Greetings, YouTube. I'm going to link to a blog post from last month. In it, someone talks about a story that um, they experienced while at a grocery store. Just in line, no big deal, late night, just stopping to get some stuff they needed. I'm sure all of us have done it. Um, I've done it. I've had to make grocery runs many times late at night for any number of reasons. And the person is just waiting their turn uh, at the till and two people in front of them is a woman and she goes to pay for her groceries and she is declined and um, the cashier is very pleasant about it explains that no I'm sorry ma'am your car was declined and then the woman is encounters a situation that she doesn't know how to cope with she needs the groceries she needs them desperately she needs them to feed her family and she has no money. But she needs the groceries. But she has no money. But she needs the groceries. But she has no money. And then she lets out a wail of despair, of fear, of hopelessness. And the people in line help her. And then she leaves. They pay for her groceries. And the author of the post um, asks the cashier, as, as they are cashing out, how often do they come back? You know, it, it worked once. You know, they got their groceries paid for. Do they come back and try this again? And the cashier said, no, they never do. That woman will never come back to the store again. That was... Um, too painful to come back here or remind her of the desperation that she is experiencing. Now, this is one story, but the reality is that in America, the most powerful nation on this planet, potentially the most powerful nation that has ever existed on this planet, we have people who are food insecure or who are, or who are without food in 2014. That we have people who are so desperate that they will let out a wail that will scar the people that hear it. That they will experience such heartbreaking sorrow over their inability to pay for the food they need for their family that they will never return to a store. This is an indictment of our safety net. This is an indictment of our entire society, that we allow people to suffer like this, that we allow people to have to abase themselves in public. This woman just wanted to pay for her groceries. She tried to play the game that we all play, the mix of infinite and finite games. She tried to play by the rules. You go to a store, you pay for your groceries. You go to a store, you pay for your groceries. She's done this a thousand times. Except she is in such desperate straits that she could not face the reality that her money was gone. But she tried to play the game. But she couldn't. And we in America say, well, if you debase yourself enough, we'll help you play the game. That we need your pound of flesh before we'll let you continue paying the game, playing the game. And we should. No one in the world, let alone the most powerful nation on the planet, should be food insecure or hungry. There are families in America right now where the parents are feeding their children but not themselves. There are people every day that go to churches in hopes that they'll have some kind of food left over because they don't want to face the reality of having to go to the government because they feel that the society will look down upon them if they use food stamps. If they have to get an EBT card. If they don't want society to judge them, and we should never judge people like this. 
we should be thankful that the system exists that we can help each other with, and yet we disparage them. We look down on them. We cut funding on a regular basis in America to the people who need food most. And for those who are going to chime in and tell me how private charity is going to step up to the plate, that is absolute and utter bull. For every bag of groceries in America that is provided by private charity, the U.S. government provides 23 bags of groceries for the American public. Private charity accounts for 4%. Count them, 4% of the food needs we have in America. This should be nothing. This should be this should be like going to the, get a car wash. That you need food? Okay, we give you food. No questions asked. No hoops to jump through. No debasement. No, well, you have to be this below, this far below your cha uh, a certain level of income so you can access. No, anybody who wants basic foods should be allowed to have basic foods. No questions asked. I don't care what their income is because the reality is. If you have the income, you won't use that service. You will go out there and you'll play the game like the rest of us. You go to the store and you buy your groceries. You go to the store and you buy your groceries. You go to the store and you buy your groceries. And you won't have to let out wails of despair and angst and fear. Why do we do this? Why don't we just use our might Make sure that no human being goes without food or shelter or education or health care. Maybe I'm just a dirty, filthy socialist. But it seems like a really good way to spend our 